Tanya Dalton has been remembered as generous, life-loving and a friend of many people who was cherished by family, netball teammates and friends far and wide. Dalton, a former Silver Fern, collapsed while playing touch rugby and died last Wednesday. Hundreds of people were at this afternoon's memorial service at QBE Stadium on Auckland's North Shore. Sharon Brett Kelly reports. Years, lots of laughter and Tania Dalton's favourite songs were played at the two and a half hour service. A top netballer, mother, businesswoman and broadcaster, family friend Scotty Stevenson said she lived 45 full and fabulous years. The start of the service at 1.26 was significant, he said. The one, the date of Duane's birthday, Duane's sister's birthday and Taylor's birthday. 26, the date of Tanya's birthday and of Charlie's birthday. Add the two and the six for eight, put the one in front, and you have Maddie's birthday. 126, you see, represents the beginning of the lives of all in Tanya's own treasured nuclear family. And here today, as we mark her passing, we remember the life she lived, the life she shared, and the lives she and Duane created. One of her three older brothers, Tony, said she was like their late mother, Mary, who was a star, popular and competitive. Certainly when God was handing out, handing out the sports genes between the four siblings, there's no question, Tanya sidestepped the three of us and took the whole lot. <laughs> Brother Dave said on family holidays, Tanya turned most things into a competition. Tan was, was tough, a real fighter. This may have something to do with having three older brothers. I recall one incident when in a misguided attempt to slow her down, Paul retrieved his um, earling spear. It was a bamboo stake with a six inch nail tied on the end of it. Um, he threw that, went right, right through his foot, her foot and that was the only time that Paul ever won the race. But it only, <laughs> it only actually took her three days to recover. <laughs> James Iverson said the friend he called Special T was a mate, a buddy, partner in crime and one of the boys. He recalls her working two shifts at the same time in two Takapuna pubs. So stashing her grain and grape polo in the garden outside the public bar of the Mon, she ran between the two pubs for the four hour shift. We sat there looking down the road waiting for the moment she would come sprinting out the doors, forage around in the garden, find her grain and grape polo, throw it on before appearing around the corner as if she'd been outside chatting to patrons the entire time. Netball teammates said wherever Tania Dalton was there was laughter. Friend Bernice Many said the girl nicknamed Teabag was an incredible athlete and a fantastic teammate. I will miss those calls T and texts. Road trips, cup, cup of tea catch-ups. Tarn's always slightly late as she tried to pack, pack so much in. Came charging in with some baking, <laughs> that beaming smile and a huge hug. Friends and family all spoke of the love, laughter and banter. The last words were from her three children, Matty, Charlie and Taylor, and husband Dwayne. She was kind, joyful, friendful, never gave up. As you all know, my mum was a very special person who was far from ordinary and always taking everything that one step further. Like ringing the hairdresser and going, yo, it's me, got any free bookings? <laughs> I'm so proud and privileged to call the most beautiful, gorgeous, amazing lady we are all here for today, my mum, my best friend. She was my wingman, my soulmate, my lover, a mother, but ultimately she was my bestie. The Dalton family is setting up a charitable foundation in Tania's name, the Tania Dalton Foundation, in support of sports training and development for underprivileged children. Mō te hōtaka o te ahi ahi ko Sharon Brett Kelly Aho. What a lovely package, Sharon. Three and a half to six, Tonga.
isn't the first country that springs to mind when thinking about the Winter Olympics. But the Pacific nation is on a mission to get a ski team to next year's event in South Korea. Two of the Royal Tonga Ski Federation's three athletes just got back from competing at the Nordic World Ski Championship. Makaleta Stefan finished 105th of 107 and Peter Taufatofua, who you may remember as the Tongan Taekwondo flag bearer from the Olympic Games. A lot of people looked at that more than once, that footage. Finished 153rd of 156. But Team Tonga's manager and head of sports, Steve Grundman, says the results are good considering the time the two have spent skiing. Peter had only been skiing for five weeks. It's, it's very ambitious, I mean, to qualify. It's not that they, um, they can uh, start to do to um, um, exotic wildcards or something. I mean, they do have to go through the FIS, IOC, um, qualification rules and risking very, very tough. We want to improve, of course. We want to get better and better and better, and that is the mission. And um, this, I think, went out very, very well. I mean, Makaleta uh, was um, is, is skiing now for for two years. Um, she does that at the side. She also was injured. She um, had a broken leg until, um, unfortunately, in summer training on roller skis. And uh, Peter Taufatifua stepped in um, with his first skiing experience in January and 10th, and um, he only was on skis for five weeks. And um, for this, I think, uh, for those circumstances, those were two very remarkable uh, results. And, um, of course, we want to develop further. Of course, we want to um, proceed and, um, and also um, improve uh, and improve our athletes. And um, yeah, that's, this is the mission, and we are on a very, very, very good w um, uh, way there. Yeah, it's obviously quite an ambitious uh, goal for a country like Tonga, where winter sports obviously isn't uh, typically one of the major sports. Tonga does have very good athletes, mainly in rugby. There are very physically strong people. Of course, you have to see what is possible with the athletes, because mostly they, of course, have a certain uh, physical, <laughs> physical structure. Um, but of course, um, they are suitable for winter sports, and if you give them the time and also the proper training. But also, we want to motivate, of course, the um, uh, Tongan population, also the, the expert Tongans. There are a lot of Tongans living in um, Australia, in North America, and Europe that also do 